All right, I'm going to do a um, hypothesis test about a population standard deviation. And we're going to do it from the raw data instead of um, just some given statistics. So I'm going to give you all the raw data so that you can uh, tell me if I'm wrong or follow along and learn something. So I'll go ahead and write our H not and our H1 up here. Our H not is population standard deviation equals 0 0.08 and our H1 is population standard deviation does not equal 0 0.08. Um, so we have 10 pieces of data we're going to enter. Um, 0 0.065. You're going to be putting these into your list one or whatever list you want to use. Um, I do in list one just to keep everything clean. So you're going to go uh, second. No, sorry. Just hit the stat button. Just hit stat, enter, and that'll take you to your list. So 0 0.065, 0 0.183, 0 0.087, 0 0.120. Point zero seven zero point two three four point two six two point three one three point one two six and point one oh eight. So that should be ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of data you're going to put into list one. Okay? So get those into list one, and then you can hit stat. So then you'll hit stat, arrow right, to make it a mess of this. To calc or calculate, and then I believe it's your first option. Yes, number one, one variable stats, and you're going to hit enter with that highlighted, and that's going to pull you into your main screen um, where that it's just going to say one variable stats. Now, if you if you d cleared out your list and just used list one, you can hit enter. If you have multiple lists going and you hit enter, I don't know what it's going to give you, but it's not going to be right. So either make sure that list one is the only one with data in it, or tell it which list you want to use. Like if you entered it in list three, you're going to hit second three and that will put L3 in there or you can put L1 if that's what you did whatever um, so I hope you got all those numbers so I'm going to erase them now I have very little whiteboard space to work with as you can see alright that's going to give you a whole list of information we're not going to use all of it. So given from the problem was our alpha at 0 0.05 and n was 10 because we had 10 pieces of data. Now from the one variable statistics list that it gave us, we're going to use the S sub x, which would be 0 0.08 six seven 
and we're going to use the population standard deviation which was 0 0.0822 I think I believe I rounded those check my rounding to make sure I didn't mess that up now then from that we need to fill in our equation since we are this is a standard deviation test for the population we're going to be using the chi-square table which means there's not there's not a calculation in the in the calculator that I know of to do chi-square you have to do that by hand it's not too difficult and your equation is such m minus 1 times variance over well sample variance over population variance draw that a little neater all right so we fill that in as n minus 1, 9 times variance. I didn't write that down, so we're going to do 0 0.0867 over 0 0.0822 squared. Calculate that. You get your chi-square naught of 10.0124. Now we've got a little more figuring to do to get our critical values. Since this is a chi square that means it is not a symmetrical curve our alpha is 0 0.05 we're still going to take half of that on either side of the curve so on the right side we need 0.25 the equation is if chi square naught is less than chi squared 1 minus alpha over 2 or if chi square naught is greater than chi squared alpha over 2. Minus, notice the 1 minus and just the alpha over 2. So, first let's find chi squared at alpha over 2. So we're going to go to n minus 1 degrees of freedom, so 9. That's not D. nine degrees of freedom at half of 0.05 it's point oh oh point oh two five so at point oh two five is nineteen point oh two three so we're gonna have are two critical values. One of them 19.023. That's this. And this one is 9 degrees of freedom at 0.975 alpha. It's 0.975 because remember the 1 minus alpha. And our 1 minus alpha on either end 
is 0 0.025, so 1 minus 0 0.025, 0 0.975, go 9 degrees of freedom on the left, 0.975 on the top, they meet at uh, 2.7. Those are our two critical values. So, but what does it all mean? Let's get a drawing going here. You can, however, decide if you're going to support the claim or not support the claim and reject H naught or not reject H naught just by these numbers. I'll let you work that out. So, a chi square line looks something like this. And since it's a two-tailed test, we have a rejection area on the left and a rejection area on the right. It's not symmetrical. This one does not have negative numbers. This line is 2.7. This line is 19.023. We know that because number of lines increase to the right. Um, 0.05 alpha, meaning this area is 0.025 of the line. This area is 0.025 of the line. Um, I'm not going to go into any more detail. So, our test statistic, chi-square, is 10.0124, which is somewhere in between 2 and 19. Put it right there. 10.0124. So, our decision is that we fail to reject H naught and our conclusion is that we fail to reject H naught meaning we support H naught, meaning there is not sufficient evidence to support the claim. Alright, someone check my work, make sure I've done it all properly.